Hey guys, welcome back to Wild Patch Homestead. My name is Steph. Uh, I am not feeling great today. Uh, the kids and I have got a bit of a cold come on. We've had a massive drop in our temperature. It's gone from uh, like high 30s, even up to 42 degrees uh, Celsius, and then it's just dropped into the 20s, but it's very humid today, and it's just made us all get a bit under the weather. So I decided today I was gonna have a rest day and I was just gonna get into some sewing projects. Um, I made a skirt today, but uh, it didn't. I didn't go off of a pattern and so <laughs> the material was really awful to work with. It's got this really huge, it's really, really stretchy. That way and that way <laughs> I had trouble sewing it. Anyway. It'll be still nice to wear around the house. Um, and then while I was in here, I thought what I'd do was make some dishcloths and just extra cloths for around the house. Uh, it, we've got an old dog and it seems a bit off topic, but I promise it's on topic. Um, he has been a bit under the weather lately and I he had a whole variety of medications he needed to be on. And so I needed some cloths that would you, you know we could use for him. And I realized I didn't really have anything. So I got some old clothes and I cut them up and I made little cloths uh, to be able to do his medication, you know, various times a day. And then it kind of got me thinking, I've, I've been thinking about it for a little while, just for spills and stuff around the house, you know, it'd be nice to have just like a, a little container full of just cloths for that. And then we ran out of dishcloths the other week. I usually keep a stash of them in another cupboard and yeah, I opened the cupboard up and there was nothing there. And so it's kind of got my brain ticking, all these little accumulation of things. And I figured, well, why not just make some? We, and then ironically, after I was kind of having this thought, my husband grabbed a towel out of the cupboard and it, and it ripped. It's really old. I've got like some remnants of it here. So, you know, she was all a bit bug it anyway but you know we kind of use things until they're dead anyway and I thought well I'll just repurpose it so I also made some some curtains for our kitchen uh, out of this material and I decided to make these little cloths just to use up the material I mean these are I've got a couple of strips of this so like really I'm not too sure what to make out of them. They've got the, the backing on it because they're proper curtain material. It's, and you know, I've already made some other things out of it, but this is just a really good way to reuse up some little off cuts, reuse an old towel. And I've already made four of these, but I thought I would take you along and you can see how I've done it. So I have, I think what I've done is I've already, I've already chopped up my towel. I didn't measure, I honestly just like folded it and cut along this, that line. And one side of the towel seems to be better than the other, one side's all bleached. And then what I'm doing is picking my best side and then I'm putting this good side of fabric to the good side of that together so that I can get a nice little dishcloth or clean up cloth or whatever it is that we need. And uh... It honestly just takes minutes to sew it together. It d and this is great if you're like me and you're not a really experienced sewer. I used to do sewing many years ago and I haven't done sewing in so long that I wanted to get back into it. I think it's a really important skill to have. Uh, and so I decided to start again. Um, this kind of project is excellent because one, you don't need to go buy material. Like I've been using clothes from the kids that they've outgrown like my youngest we do a lot of hand-me-downs but he's getting older now and he's um you know got a lot of clothes that no longer fit him and so I've been using those uh you can use the same or old towels and things that start to fall apart rather than just throwing them in the bin and your seams don't have to be perfect like your lines don't have to be straight it's it's really not gonna matter like you wouldn't know whether I you know done a great job or not on that because it all looks the same anyway I don't even think I cut it square and it's not gonna matter for what it's being used as I probably if I had an option would not have chosen white to use on any dishcloth style thing it's gonna get 
filthy really quickly. We live in the Mallee area where all the dirt here is red. <laughs> so everything gets red. But again, it's what I've got and I'm not gonna waste that material. And it gets it rid out of my little sewing stash of material as well. Um, anyway, I will get these whipped up and bring you along to see what we do and hopefully you can, uh, yeah, replicate that in your own way with whatever resources you've got. Okay, so with the towel, I'm picking my best side. This one seems to be a bit more worn. So this is probably my best side and I'm gonna face that down. That cute. And then honest, I'm not even pinning it, but you can if your material is like a slippery type of material, you can pin it if you like. I'm just roughly sitting against it and cutting it out. Again, nothing. Nothing fancy. And then what I'll do I had white thread in here already, so I've just left left that. And then I start up here. So here's my corner. And I'll show you why in a minute when we fold it back out. I just do two forwards, two back, and then you just lift your foot, spin, dump it back down. I think while I'm doing I am like smoothing this out, trying to keep my line roughly, but as you can see it's already moved. I already have a portion of material sticking out. Again, this is where you can pin it and you can make it perfect, but for the purpose of this project I'm I'm honestly not fast. You? sure what happened there I've been thinking about it obviously my machine seized I, I'm not sure whether it's just got a lot of the fluff this is this towel is really putting fluff everywhere I'm not sure yet if I'll just I don't know whether to just pull it apart and give it a quick clean it seems to be okay now anyway i'll keep moving along so what i do is i cut off the corners just make sure you're not cutting can you if you can see that thread i just cut just after it this just makes the corners a lot uh neater when i fold it through you can actually pull the corner through Okay, 
so we find the opening and then I usually just reach in get my corner or one corner and pull that through you can just tease the rest of it all out then I just make it big enough so your hand can go in it and then I just poke the corner out with my finger but see it turns into quite a nice corner once you chop that excess off otherwise it's too much like bundled up in the corner and you don't get a really nice corner out of it this is another way where I just practice these little tips and tricks that I pick up along the way. I really find that those little things, I remember them then when I am doing a proper project. There we go. So we have our dishcloth. So all we're going to do now is close up that end and I will just fold those in so that they match because because I've already pulled these edges in, it now gives me this perfect straight line. To run across if I had started on the corner and went my way around I'd have this weird corner that I would have to be trying to meet up with and you know ensure it's closed properly so by doing it this way it's just it's just a lot more convenient to be honest a little bit of tension on that just to ensure that it's gonna stay put machine having a hissy fit it's not a it's a brother machine but it's a very basic model um, I was gifted this many many years ago and uh, so it's not in great you know I don't know it's fantastic I'm really happy that it. it's a basic model like I said but it's not gonna do extravagant things and she does get a little bit glitchy occasionally um, yeah that's it that's our dishcloth done so now I've got five so I'm just gonna keep trooping through uh, I might film another one um, Especially after that one glitched out, we'll see if my machine's gonna have a happy day or not. Mm, I like that side better. I do feel very accomplished though, doing these little tasks, and they really, like I said, they're not hard. And so I can kind of switch off. Like I've been listening to podcasts and just kind of chilling out, to be honest. It's been really nice. Sometimes it's raining and the... Well, I better go slow because I do not want to upset this machine anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it's nice just to have a slow day. Especially days like this, you know, the kids are sick, so they're all just chilling out. And I didn't want to do lots of tasks. Because I do not want to be bedridden for the rest of the week. That would be, yeah, awful. So just taking it easy. as well it's just so chunky so I may as well cut that all off and it'll just help it smooth out a little bit more like it's all hidden again you really don't have to worry about these things and sometimes I don't if I'm not in the mood I can't bother I just don't bother but just showing you ideas on what you can do if you want to neaten it up if you want to do measurements you know you can make it your own you can use nicer material if you like. I'm kind of glad that the towel was brown at least so I had a dark colour. Because um, that's going to be the scrubby bit too. And 
and sustainable. I really love that. This is less going into landfill, which is what we would have done in the past if a tower got broken. And I always look at these little moments like progress and learning. You know, you don't know what you don't know. And that's okay. I didn't realize the ramifications of putting things in the rubbish, rubbish bin before I, you know, before I learned about it. Done. That's so fast. Look at this pile I've got now. You know, and I could stop. I've probably got enough there to do one more. Um, and then I'm sure I've got other material there as well I can use, but that's going to really help us so much and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> so I think my point today really is that every little bit does count. Uh, using scraps for these things is going to make a world of difference. Even if you don't use them for your everyday use, but if you ever need to use them or you ever need to have one on hand because like me, you thought you had some cloths and you didn't, uh, then you know, these may be perfect for those those moments. You don't have to worry about sewing them up. You really could just like cut off a towel to start with and use that. Uh, but I think I'll try these out. I'll see what the material is like, like wh wiping the benches down and things. And um, yeah, I'm not too sure how this material is gonna go. It's quite, I mean, it's curtain material, you know, so it's hardy, it's thick. But I have no idea, so I thought, well, I'll just, you know, it's what I had. Give it a go. It may be perfect, and maybe I'll want to make a lot more. Um, I would like to try and pull back, you know, buying things. Like, anything I can make myself rather than purchase from a shop is a win in my book, to be honest. I'm really trying to look at ways to uh, reduce our shopping bill. I'm sure, like, everybody is feeling the pinch at the moment. Um, I put up a post recently where I spontaneously quit my job and uh, it may not be the best time <laughs> to do that but uh, my soul needed it but that also means you know I have to be a little bit more careful as well about where we're spending our money at the supermarket we grow a lot of our own vegetable here on our suburban uh, plot of land um, it's just a normal house block that we've turned into a, a garden basically that feeds us uh but yeah the shops are still very expensive <laughs> uh so anywhere we can save money and this is just another way for me to do that basically um i've been meaning to do this for ages and i'm sure everyone is the same we all just get busy and life just gets nuts um so i'm actually really I mean, it's not great that we're sick, but it does force you to slow down and force you to do a slower job. Like, I'm not going to go out in the garden today and work up a sweat when my throat is killing me and my lungs hurt. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take I'm going to take the time to do a really nice slow activity, and this is perfect. And uh, and I feel good about it. I feel accomplished, and I'm proud of myself. And you know, anything that's going to perk your tires up is uh, always always really yeah good. So. That's it for today. Bunch of dishcloths or random washcloths, whatever we need them for, basically. Uh, all done and honestly I think that just took minutes to do each one, even with even with my machine having a hissy fit there in the middle and jamming up. She seems to be okay now, so hopefully I can get through the last of these cloths anyway. <laughs> we'll see. But thanks so much for joining me. Have an amazing day wherever you are and I'll see you again soon. Bye.